Coach Colin, great victory. Coach, came back home after a long road trip. Talk about tonight's victory. Uh, it's always nice to be back home. Um, it's always nice to be back playing in front of our Niner Nation. We've done very well at home in recent years, and uh, tonight was another example of, you know, just playing well in front of our crowd. Um, important victory because, you know, you never want to you never want to come off a loss and, and then not play well. I thought tonight we played well. We got the ball into good areas in the first half. Probably went backwards a bit too much, went sideways a bit too much. But second half, we asked the girls to get their heads up and find that next exciting ball, next positive ball. Um, but delighted with the performance because it's been a tough few weeks for us with injuries and setbacks. And we may have got another one tonight with concussion. It's just the way it goes right now. But other players are just stepping up and giving us quality minutes and quality performances. We talked about that a little bit more you took McHenry and Nett um, was it the injuries and everything else you changed up your lineup and then you had a freshman score your first goal so talk about changing the lineup and how well they played together after you know a tough first half a very aggressive first half yeah I mean we talked all week about the players that we've lost for the rest of the season and we've lost some very key players for us Sarah Ann Ward, Jessica Ryan, Alex Myers obviously our goalkeepers uh, Alex Kubik is suffering a bit of concussion so we just told the others, it's, it's, there's opportunities and we're going to need you to step up big time. So really pleased. I mean, obviously delighted for players like Rebecca Bailey to get her first college goal. Hopefully that will be something real special that she can build on. But she's been shooting a lot in practice, um, which is great. Hasn't always been scoring in practice. I've, I've been thinking when she's going to score. But if you're going to score, I might as well make it on a college night than uh, a training night. But really pleased for the, the, the kids here because um, this last 10 days or so with the injuries has is, is tested our closeness. And they are such a close group and they really care about one another. And it showed. I mean, some girls went on the field at night for 10, 12, 15 minutes and just played their heart out for their teammates and their program. We're well, going to be right back here Sunday against Middle Tennessee. They got a win tonight. Talk about the short rest with the injuries and everything else going on. How does that affect Sunday's matchup? Well, Middle Tennessee are an excellent team, a well-coached team. I mean, we knew it was, Sunday's going to be another tough game for us. I think one of the things we've found so far in the three Conference USA games, they've all been very, very close games. The margins are very little. We're going to have to do everything we can. Thankfully, we're not traveling. We'll reassess tomorrow morning if we've picked up any more injuries. But we have great confidence in all the players. I mean, we said it all season. We're 26 players deep. Everybody will get an opportunity to play at some point. And tonight is another example of that. And Sunday, we'll probably need a few other players to step up. But, you know, the girls are answering the call. They uh, give us what they've got. I mean, Ari Riley, for example, came off the bench tonight and for 10 minutes was a real presence and helped us settle us down and got us the ball in good areas and scored a great goal from that and scored a fantastic goal with Amanda Jones to win a game. Yeah, well finally coach it's alumni weekend here talk about building that tradition and you know you're here you got your 50th win this season talk about the tradition of alumni and how great it is to see him coming back out to the park. Oh you know alums are great I mean um, they follow you even if they can't always be at the field they follow you from from home from far whether it's through phone calls texts emails website they stay in touch with us and they they do a great job of following the program and you know we we playing tonight we said all, all week we're playing tonight for our alums and for Haley Beams night uh, we want to really round off the weekend on style with a, a good performance tonight a good result and I hope the alums are proud of the performance we put on and I think the alums will say you know that's what we expect of the girls you know play for each other play for one another and for Haley, obviously being an All-American and retiring a shirt we wanted it to be a celebration night so you know I'm proud of the way it's all come together for us tonight and uh, Proud of it, our alums, and, but obviously very, very proud of our young team tonight. Well, thanks, Coach, for the opportunity and great win tonight, and we'll see you Sunday. Sounds great. Thank you, Thales.